Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to talk about nails and press-ons on top of that because I decided to switch from going to the salon to doing it on my own because honestly, last time I had a pretty horrible experience. Not that she wasn't nice or anything, but she cut me twice um, and my fingers were like bleeding everywhere. That wasn't a really nice thing. I decided that I was scared and I would rather just do it on my own. <laughs> so um, that would be more hygienic for me and I could really choose what I wanted and just like increase my skills overall in doing that. I have been testing out a few things, of course, about press-on nails. I decided to buy, because they were on sale, the Kiss Salon Acrylic French Nude Revolutionary Natural Nail. So this is the one that I have been wearing for a week right now. It's been a week. Before I show you all of the application process and how to make them last as long as I have, them we're gonna talk about the product by itself it is said on the side that it is a seven day wear which to me in my opinion it is an amazing wear uh, for press on nails but you can definitely make it longer than this it is a flexi fit technology that is ultra flexible flawless fit and there will be no bubbles there's a few things that I have to say about the bubbles because you might get some and I'm gonna tell you why later on there is a little bit of content in there you're gonna have it push cuticle in it. You're going to have a little lime for your nails. Um, you're going to have also the nails in there, which there are 28 uh, nails with the glue that is included. So looking at the nails by themselves, the thing that I really liked about these nails is that the tip of them were thicker than uh, where the cuticle is. And it gives a really nice look as if I actually went to the salon to get the, them done. So I feel like these ones are pretty high quality for the price. And they are flexible. If you press them on this, on the middle and everything, you're going to see that they can fit properly. Because some of the press-on nails you have out there, they are just so hard and they hurt your fingers. So it's a little bit harder to, you know, adjust. I think I paid $11.99 for them Canadian. So on Amazon, you can get on Amazon, you can get them at your CVS. Pharma Prix, uh, Shoppers Drug Mart, wherever you are in the world. <laughs> it depends where you are, but you can definitely buy them somewhere. So going to the application process, it is pretty simple to be honest. There's a few steps that you need to follow if you want your application to go smoothly and if you want your nails to last really, really long. The first thing that I like to do is I like to clean my nails before I fit the press-ons on my nails because I don't want any residue of oils or anything going on the press-ons. So I do like to lime, file, lime. Oh my God, lime, it's in French, sorry. Um, I like to file my nails first and then to make sure that there is no no, 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 shininess anymore on the nail. So don't overdo it. You just want to do a little thin layer of it. You don't want to damage your nails either. Going with the soft side of the file that they give you. And then I go with some acetone and I just make sure to clean my nails with that. And of course I do this because I want to make sure that there is no glue residue whatsoever because I have been putting press on nails, press on nails on top of each other. So sometimes there is a little bit of glue residue and you want to make sure to remove all of that. And the acetone is going to remove any oils, anything. If you have a little bit of nail polish left on your nails, it's going to remove everything. You can also use some alcohol spray or alcohol 70% if you do not have acetone. You can definitely work with that. So when this is done, I start to fit my nails and you want to make sure that it's the closest fit possible on your nails because you really want this to work and you want this to look as natural as possible. Then it's not finished because there is a lot of things to do if you want to make them as natural as possible. So as you can see, the nail by itself is kind of squared at the bottom and we want to avoid to put that right on our nails because it's not going to look natural. You're going to have like a squared tap and nail. If you have a more square nails, it's totally fine. You can put it like this, but me, my, my nails, the way that they finish where the cuticle is, is really round. So you're going to take the file on the other side that you have, since it's a more cheap file, I would say you have to kind of switch side if you want to be able to file the nails and then you will start to file the sides to make it rounder. And once in a while, you're going to make sure that it fits on your nail because you don't want to overdo it. You want it to be almost perfect to your size. So you do one nail after the other, you know, 
make it look cute, make it look nice. You make sure that you kind of push on the side because sometimes when you are filing the nail, there's gonna be some residue and you wanna remove that residue because if you leave the residue and then you glue the nail on your nail, which makes sense, <laughs> there's gonna be a little flip of kind of plastic coming out and you want to remove that before you see it last second. So before you continue, you want to clean your desk from all the powder from the uh, press on nails because if you leave all the powder there, there's a possibility that it's gonna go behind your nail and then you're gonna see a little bit of, you know, powder, powdery stuff under your nail and you wanna avoid this as well. So then after that, you're gonna take the little cuticle pusher that comes with the pack and then you're gonna push your cuticle far like as the furthest that you can and you don't want to be cutting your cuticle because I stopped doing that and the reason why I stopped cutting my cuticles is because it would grow so much like it is so unnecessary to cut them it is so unnecessary anyways um just push them back and it's gonna work and when you push them back sometimes there's a little residue of cuticle on your nail and you want to make sure to really scrub scrub that away you don't want to have this because since the nails are a little bit clear you might be seeing like a little white line or anything so make sure that all of the surface of your nail is absolutely smooth all right so we are going to the actual application process because prepping the nails prepping the press on nails is literally the longest part there is a glue included like i said on um, in the pack which this glue the kiss glue is really hard to press and to squeeze so I would maybe recommend you getting another one than this one because like, for example, something that you buy separately, something that is easy to squeeze or that with gravity, the glue comes out, you know, because this one was really hard. I had to struggle with it. So anyways, the way that I apply the glue is that you want to put a lot of glue. Like don't be shy to apply the glue. If you want to avoid bubbles, you have to apply a lot of glue. So you apply glue to your nail and you want it to be all around everywhere. It's very important. And then you take the nail and you start by the pinky and then you put glue on the pinky press on nail all around where the clear portion is and then after that the way that i apply the nail and i hope that i'm going to be explaining this right so you take the nail and then you're going to put it down and since the cuticle is pushed back you're going to push the nail kind of almost under the cuticle that you pushed so then when the cuticle comes back it goes a little bit over the press on nail so then it's going to make the press on nail look super natural that way as if it was part of your natural nails so then you do this for every single one of them and you have to make sure that you put enough glue if you do not have enough glue and if you don't put enough glue it's going to create bubbles it's going to create different colors all around and i'm going to show you because the first nail that i applied i didn't put enough glue <laughs> and then it might pop off if like you have you do a harsh movement and you knock your fingers or something it might remove and that's what happened my cat did something crazy and the pinky removed because it was the first nail that i applied and there was less glue coming out so you have to make sure that you are putting enough glue and the other thing that i noticed while applying the press on nails it's saying to apply a firm pressure which do not press like crazy uh, that's what I was doing, you know, with this hand. My, since my right hand is my strong hand, I was applying and I was pressing so much that there are areas where the glue moved away. So then you have less glue on one part and then you have more glue on the other part. So what happens is the coloration under the press on nail is going to look different because you have less glue on this side and you have more glue on the other side. So be careful. It's saying firm pressure. Don't apply too much pressure because it's not going to look good then i recommend you not washing your hands for a long period of time so i would say maybe like five hours at least so then the glue is really hard and all dried up you have to think about that the glue is stuck between two surfaces so to make it to make sure that it's completely dried you want to wait for a long period of time try to avoid washing your hands try to avoid doing the dishes try to avoid to do a lot of things because then your nails are not going to last as long if you are putting your hands right away in water talking about water as well i would avoid taking baths with um your press on nails because this is going to reduce the amount of life that you can get out of them if you're in the bath with your hands soaked and if there's soap or if there's a bubble bath or whatever this 
if you soak it too long, like it might peel off and that is completely normal. Glue can just come out, you know? All right, so after one week, I would say that the first one, I didn't apply enough glue, so this one doesn't count. <laughs> that was my fault in particular. So on this side, my right hand, since I applied less pressure, more glue and everything, it did not fall, like no nail fell. And the funny part is I use this hand more than the other ones. So the other one, the one that fell is this one, the, 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 the thumb, <laughs> the thumb fell because I did a harsh movement like this like literally today and then um it hit like the corner and then the nail kind of lifted but only on one side here which is okay um i was like ouch <laughs> because it's really glued properly i just decided to put it back on and it looks absolutely new so even if one pops up if you have your glue with you you can just reapply it and it's gonna look good as new just like the other ones so also when you re-glue your nails the thing that might happen is that if you don't put the glue properly there might be some white little dots on the side which is totally Totally normal so try to remove as much glue as possible from your press on nails to make it look as natural as possible so as you can see I re-glued my pinky the first time and it ended up a little bit with some white at the bottom which the pinky doesn't bother me that much because you know you don't I don't use it that much you know pinkies but the 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 thumb was really important to me and as you can see it's really not that bad you would never think that I re-glued this one so it's really good is it really strong and does it last against like harsh stuff um I actually went to the gym I feel like yesterday and the middle finger I was stuffing my stuff in the locker and what happened is my like, I thought my nail literally came off okay because I did this and then the nail bended like it literally bent on my finger and I was like oh no my nail and then I tried to remove it and it wasn't removing and then I was looking closely to it and there's a line where it bent so the nail the glue is very strong the kiss glue but the nail itself after a week kind of weakened in this part which is totally normal because it's thick and it goes to thin and then it bent but then now I'm not able to bend it. It's just because there was a lot of pressure and it decided to bend on its own. But it still stayed there. It still looks beautiful. I would be able to wear it probably another couple of days if I wanted. And it would still look beautiful. The other thing that I have to say, if you are wearing a lot of makeup, if you are, you know, doing a lot of stuff, um, if you don't have enough glue on the sides of your cuticles, products, uh, stuff might get under. And that's what's gonna make it kind of lift off after, I would say, a week. You might see a little bit of product there. After a week, I feel like it's a really good wear, especially for press-on nails, but I could wear this for another week without any problem. I noticed it's not too bad now because I did clean it with, um, you know, like a little rough brush uh, under when I clean my hands. But if you are cooking with turmeric, if you are cooking with things that stain, it's not gonna stain the top, but it's gonna stain the bottom. So be careful when you're cooking because you might end up with some different colors on your fingers since it's white and it's matte at uh, the bottom. It's gonna get stained for sure, 100%. So make sure that you are careful when you are cooking with stuff. If you have dyes, if you have makeup, make sure to like really clean your nails properly because it's you're gonna be able to see it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> So be careful with that. It's not too bad with these ones because they are pretty thick at the top. After a week, you can see that there is some damage on the side of the nail at the top. So what happened is that, you know, it's a little bit more squared. It is kind of like a ballerina shape or a coffin shape, however you want to call it. Um, and then it is rounder at some of the edges. So the, if you see like some edges are like round on one side and then the other side is sharper. So this is really normal with hues. You know, if you're using your nails for everything, like me personally, I write a lot at the keyboard. So I'm like hitting them eight hours a day on a keyboard. Okay, so like tick, 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 <laughs> like this. So of course there's gonna be some damage. Of course it's not gonna be as pretty and perfect, but that if you see it after like a week and you wanna still wear your nails and if they're still beautiful, you can take a file and then you can file the sides to make sure that they are very pretty. Another trick that I can give you guys if you are buying some press-on nails that are matte, um, I've been doing this with my other nails and thank God I did because it was, it would have been broken, okay? If you have matte nails, there's not like a glossy coat on it. I would recommend you putting a coat on top of it. This is gonna like add longevity to your nail, especially on the side here. It's gonna add longevity to the color. I would recommend you putting a UV coat. So like a UV nail polish that is 
transparent and that you can put under the UV light and this is gonna last so much more than if you just put the press on nails that are matte and you just leave it like this. So if you have matte and you wanna stay matte, I would recommend you putting a matte coat on top. Very important if you wanna add longevity to your nails. The other thing that I have to notice, if you have like really, really tiny, tiny, tiny pinkies, you're gonna have to file it properly because I don't know if you're gonna be able to wear this one. Like there's other nails that have smaller sizes. This one doesn't have that many sizes for the smallest, smallest. So other nails that I bought have sizes that I can't put on my finger because they're too small, but these ones are literally the smallest one that they have. It's better to have a bit bigger because you can file it than too small. So overall, I feel like these nails are absolutely fantastic. This is, I'm so glad that I bought another pack because these, it's like they can fit anybody. Since the nails are not too pink, it's just very neutral, I would say. It could fit any skin tone, literally any skin tone. So, and it can fit a lot of people. I would buy it again and again and again, and I would just wear this all the time. This is how much I love them. And honestly, even though they are kind of a little bit rough, I would be able to remove them with soap and water. Um, I would be able to remove them, you know, by soaking them in and I would be able to reuse them again because they are not that damaged to be honest. So if, if you want to reuse them, you could. Anyways, I highly recommend these one. They are absolutely beautiful. It is quality for the price. You could almost tell me that, oh my God, how much did you spend? And if I still told you like $60, you would believe me, okay? But these are literally $12 Canadian so crazy um, on sale I think on Amazon they are cheaper so it's gonna be listed down below if you want to go check it out but it's gonna be amazing so anyways this is how I apply my nails for them to last so long and for them to look absolutely flawless and super natural on my nails and I do this the same with you know colorful nails uh, with matte nails anything you can apply this technique to literally anything and it's gonna work perfectly I assure you so if you have the same technique please make sure to tell me down below I would love to know if you have any tricks on other stuff I don't know maybe you have like a revolutionary technique that you are using for your nails but honestly I am in love with press on nails and I will only get press on nails from now on never going to the salon again it is super expensive and I can take the amount of time and do it myself. So make sure to like the video, comment down below again, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for a whole lot of content every single week on beauty, lifestyle, reviews, and a lot more. So thank you so much again, guys, for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will definitely see you in the next one.